Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the What Did He Said podcast. Burr, 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 burr. Coming at you live, man, from the Pie Tequila Studios. Yeah, we'll call it that because pie showing love, man. Oh, pie Tequila is delicious. Uh, they're sponsoring the podcast. Big shout out to Mary's Creek Pulls Cattle down Company. down on a warm summer day. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Mary's Creek Cattle Company, man, also supporting the podcast. Uh, we got to make sure they, we sprinkle their commercials throughout the episode. Uh, definitely got our back. Of course, Tehuacan Mineral Water showing love. Uh, it's your boy Chingo Bling. We got Javi Luna in the building. I'm here in the comfy chair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Riding shotgun. That's that's. We got producer Big Rob. What's up, everybody? Javi looks comfy as fuck over there. He's I'm like about, melting. I'm about to fall asleep this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he's about to take a nap after this. Yeah, we recorded two before this. I ain't even Three before this. Part of this one. Three yeah. before this. Hell yeah, uh, man! We not actual him. water this time. Water champ, water champ. We knocking him out, man. We got Juan Perez in the building. What's up, big dog? What's up? What's up? Uh, Juan and I just got back, man, from a road trip. We hit uh, Alamo, Texas, and Brownsville, Texas. Uh, Juan was outside of the building when I thought I was gonna have to take justice into my own hands. <laughs> And I thought I was going to have to punt. So you, re- you really thought the dude was going to rush up on you? No, nah, I didn't think he was going to jump up on the stage. Mm-hmm. But he was like coming up to the stage, like taking selfies during the show, all mm-hmm. in front of the stage, calling me the B word and the P word. And his head was right there, like within punting distance. Mm-hmm. I came um, back in and there was just like all the security over to the side, like getting ready to like rush the thing. But nobody was doing yeah. anything. So I was like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> just walked in like what's finna, happening baby glob was finna have to take care of his damn self <laughs> but uh but yeah man Javi you, you gotta show on May 5th man I'm gonna have to pull up on you big dog May 5th Cinco de Mayo Gordito de Mayo Gordito de Mayo Upstage Comedy Lounge Upstage, upstage yeah. in San Antonio Yeah. Okay. May 5th yes sir yes sir yeah man okay. I, I, matter of fact let me go ahead keep talking while I get my yeah. tour dates yeah no it's a, it's a it's a it's a good club man it's over on uh, well, what's it off of W.W. White. So, yeah, like W.W. White. Like on the w. east side. W. White Road east side. On, the, on the east side. Like, 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 I used to like, DJ out there. Like you were trying to go to Austin and didn't want to fuck with San Antonio. Like you're, you're going <laughs> take, the, take the loop. Get take off on W.W. White. You'll be all right. Hell yeah. Uh, I have College Station coming up. May 6th, College Station. So if I stop by Hobby Show, um, I could be nice and ready. And ready to go. College Station, May 6th with the homie Jesse Payton. Uh, we have Waco, Texas, May 20th. Houston, Texas, House of Blues, June 16th, Javi Luna and Bryson Brown in the building. June 16th, House of Blues. Get your tickets now. Oklahoma City, July 6th, Chicago, July 16th, Austin, August 20th, San Diego, September 1st and 2nd, and then San Antonio, October 12th through the 15th. I think that's all I have at the moment. So the tour is dwindling down, uh, which means uh, I'm going to be a podcast of mofo. You know, or who knows what other kind of production yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get ourselves no. involved with. No, I'm talking about now and then something real nice, something real nice for the fans, man. It might even be on Tubi. You know, who knows? It might, it might be a web series. It might be a film. She might fuck around, and do all three. You, know, you never you know because we got multiple people. Yeah, motherfucker, get no, prolific and shit. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm be prolific. Um, drop shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, after we don't knock shit, you know. You know, we're knocking shit over, and we're knocking shit down. I'm going to need a new cell knock, phone knock, after this. A new cell phone? But yeah, hey, Rob, man, I want to ask you, bro. Yes, sir. Um, so, Rob, everybody that's listening, uh, Rob had done jujitsu a long time ago, mm-hmm. and he's back on the mats. So, man, shout out your man, shout out to Jim, bro. You got to Supreme represent, ATX. So, it's uh, in Kyle, Texas, <clears throat> technically, but it's, you know, like 20 minutes from South Austin. Mm-hmm. But uh, the instructor is one of the few, like, multi time, multi, like, uh, IBJJF American black belt champion. So, okay. he's, like, super seasoned. He came from California, like the mecca of jiu jitsu. Mm-hmm. And uh, they left. His wife worked in uh, Silicon Valley, and they were like, fuck this noise. Yeah. The schools were terrible, everything was changing. And they said fuck it they just picked up and left mm. so how you liking it bro i love it yeah yeah the classes are they're they're just they only opened in uh like december so it's still like kind of getting the memberships but the classes are growing and uh, it's like the perfect level of like jumping back in because they're not there's a couple of purple belts and like one brown belt and most of them are like just kind of either getting back to it or they've only been training for like six months and your wife trains there too yes yeah, she trains there too okay so they got blue belts there too big she's the, yeah she's the highest ranked chick there <laughs> nice yeah so so what did you mean by like like 
the fact that it's only a few brown and purple so what do you mean like everyone else is kind of like at the same level for the most part like some of the people there are uh like cops that hadn't they hadn't trained a long time so they're just getting back into it they're still white belts so like there's only two or three upper levels to like teach a sea of newbies like you and i yeah, yeah. so we're all learning kind of at the same level and you're not like worried about you know there's too many advanced people and only two white belts then you're like fuck i'm getting my ass kicked every day which you still are but yeah, yeah, you know yeah. you know how it is you ain't got like spazzy white belts exactly on. no they're pretty like six months so you're kind of seasoned you're not trying to kick people in the face and all that okay so rob you got back into it because you had that two two stripe envy dog I yeah know. i had this i had the two stripe envy from chingo <laughs> oh, i had <laughs> my children's gray belt envy and then my wife's blue belt envy so i was like all right i'll like, get back oh, to it nah. but she came aggressive she's like i'm gonna kick your ass day one. Oh, but rob, rob didn't she want just... to start getting punked in his own house <laughs> yeah yeah no the kids will fucking try to choke you and then my wife i was you like know, i'm gonna kill all of you last, at once who ate my cereal last fruit what cup? cereal exactly <laughs> exactly aggressive you. <laughs> i thought i told you not to eat my goldfish dude <laughs> she came at me too hard, but no, she didn't get it. She was she was pissed. She couldn't choke me out the first time. Oh, your wife? Yeah, <laughs> she really? was pushing it. <laughs> she was really trying to tap oh, you hell out. Oh hell yeah! She was pushing up? hard. She wanted to teach you a lesson. You, you must act. You was acting bad that week, dude. Okay. Do it. It said you gonna put the seat down. Say it. Say, say you put the seat down. Exactly. She likes judo too, so she tries. She tries oh, to God. throw people out. She threw a chick on her face <laughs> the first day like hard. Bro, I was gonna be coming coming here with concussions. Stuff. This girl didn't know how to brace, and you know she threw she threw her, and she just fell right on her grill. She didn't oh put her hands. Didn't put her hands oh, down. Robert, she didn't brace. If you need help, get help, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you're close I by blink. now, Javi. You're closer. Well, you're not on camera, so blink if you need help. Exactly. You know what I'm blink saying. Blink real fashion. <laughs> Please, please, you let me. You know, there's a sign. You got it's like something like this, and or something like this, and then like this, or something like. So if you see somebody do this, or like, is it like this? Oh, what? They what means they like, need help. Yeah, it's like it's like help. It's traffic. like I'm being yeah traffic or something. no it's shit. Like this. Really? It's like this and this, or like. The, it's something like this. It's either they this make it real complicated. It's, to get <laughs> it's a close thing. I don't know. So like, if you ever see somebody do that, just be like, "What? What's happening?" You know. Just like, get an alert to hi, hi, yeah. be. <laughs> well, don't do it the other way. Don't look at her and be like this. Yeah, don't do yeah, that don't to do a that. woman. It's the other way. It's, it's like, like this, what? and it's like a close fist. <laughs> I believe that's what it is. Mm. Here, I look it up. So if you see somebody do that, I don't know how shit like that works because then they put it out. Well, it's like, well, now the traffickers know the sign too. Yeah. Like traffickers got TikTok too, bitch. <laughs> like yeah. now you teaching them all. Like, hey, 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 I saw that YouTube. Get these hoes in don't trouble. be trying to, don't try to be, be signaling. Yeah, but like if they're walking in front of them, they just do uh, it behind. Them, oh, right? like, oh, they got to do it. Yeah, uh, because like gotta, it's supposed to be like one of those things. See, like if the cops okay. come to the door or something and they're right there. Just okay, because I've seen the other one like for the for the for the for the, for the chicks at the bars. Like, if you're uncomfortable, like, you go order an angel shot, right, or something. Like, if you're on a date that's, that's not going well or someone's, like, some dude's, like, creeping you out, you go to the bar and ask him for, can, can you get an angel shot? And, uh, wow, I've and, never heard I never heard that. They should call it the Bill Cosby shot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or, like, no, and that know. lets the bartender know that you need you need you help. Need you're help. in an uncomfortable situation. So get one of the bouncers to walk you to your car and, and stuff and, like, no make shit. sure that, that no one follows you and shit like that. Well, damn, I was just trying to ask Rob how many stripes he had, but y'all, y'all made it depressing. <laughs> no, we're like, on a very, spe- on a very right, special right. We're trying to make sure he gets out of danger. <laughs> on a very special episode. Uh, uh, so are you guys to start too. over no stripes? Yeah, yeah. Did you have stripes? I didn't before? have any stripes, no. Okay. Have any stripes. That's I was never as consistent as you, so I couldn't earn any stripes. Barely much. You got two. Yeah, I know. You, but by surprise, because you've been consistent. Even though people enough. doubted me, bro. Even when I got two, he was like, "Really?" You know, some people in the room the doubted, I doubted the two at once. <laughs> he was like, "All right, same day, mm-hmm. striped up, yeah, like Stri- yeah striped like up, and like a Chingo. Bengal tiger." <laughs> Something but but there are Chico. a lot of posers, man. So I feel you, bro. There's yeah. a lot of posers out there. So I'd be Every- tempted to just put my own electrical tape. Should stop by Ace Hardware on the way home. Today. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying it on. I just wanted to see what it might look yeah. like. What it's yeah. gonna feel? Yeah, like. Actually, you could. You could probably just show up at a new school, <laughs> put your electrical tape on there, and be Some like, white yeah, tape? yeah. Just put any kind of tape on the on your belt, right? And just show up to a new school because they're not really gonna check you unless nah, it's gonna... close-ish. They might check. But mm. but if you're gonna end up getting promoted. They're gonna, you're gonna get exposed for sure. Like, for they're sure. gonna know, like, come on, bro, where you buy that belt? Yeah, because like <laughs> I was on Amazon getting some some stuff that I needed, jujitsu related. And uh, did you consider buying a blue belt? No, 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 no. But I saw that there were like belts, 
Mm. I guess I'm like, is that where the gym would get their belt before they yeah. issue it to somebody? I guess that makes sense, right? But I'm like, that's so dumb. Like, you you can't be a pretend brown belt or any or blue. So I mean, unless you want to get your you ass kicked, they're giving you the belt. Yeah, they, they give, like, you the... give you like a little voucher here. You can go take this. To the, <laughs> no, they the, no, they hand it to you. Take yeah. This, oh, okay, they hand it to yeah. you. Yeah. Like when Joe Rogan got his, bro, he was emotional, bro. Yeah, he cried. Got yeah. his black belt. Yeah, he cries often though. It's got you know black belt. Yeah, it's a DMT man. Yeah. You know, well, he did have some Bud Light on his last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Get some of that tranny it fluid. Happens, man. I don't know, big man. I drink. I told. I drank a t- drunk a twelve pack. I only took like two dicks. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so every, every six beers. <laughs> can, can, can we <laughs> say that again, <laughs> please? <laughs> that, 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 go ahead. Put, for clarification, put me on the Discord. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're gonna put, <laughs> don't put it on Rob though. I'm just trying to say two dicks in 2023. That doesn't even count. Like it's got. You're be still like, straight at that point. Yeah, you're saying? yeah. It's, you got in 2023, right? Yeah, yeah. You got three standards. You gotta say like five, six digs before it's like, and it's gotta have tits too yeah, in order yeah, to count. Exactly. It's gotta be double you know, digits. So it's, it's gotta be double digits. Double digits double with digit, the tits. Double digit dick, man. <laughs> in order to get double digit man. gay. A double digit dick in means gay. Otherwise, you're still you're still yeah. straight in 2023. God. If you get into three digits, that's when you gotta get the sex change. <laughs> <sighs> That's Ouch. dark. Yeah, that's life. Ouch, bro. When they be having, like, when they be having, my wife knows because she be watching all that shit on YouTube, uh-huh. like, mm-hmm. where it's like how they do the banana split, and how they invert <sighs> things, and how they got to uh-huh. keep the little open and open, uh-huh. like a stopper. She was saying today how good the Bruce Jenner documentary was. Have you seen it? I thought we had, I, she, she and I started watching it last night, but I'm like, we saw this already. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was just like his little life story. And it's trippy. To see him in his prime on the Wheaties box, like track star, Olympian, gold medalist, and then and then you're seeing him now, you know, with the big hands and like all the f- the face stuff that whatever he had done, yeah, the face the fillers and, and shit, else, yeah, to to look more feminine, and it's trippy, bro. That was the first one to win the the women of the woman of the year, right? He was the first. She, was she was, was he? She? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Whatever I got. Whatever it is. Wow. Was, was it the first? Wow. That was the first one. Oh, really? Woman of the year. How insensitive. Dang. Really? I mean, hey, man. So me. I ain't got that many followers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's saying that, but he be on the road stressing over, like, man, I think I'm going to start a second Instagram because my first Instagram, I think I'm going to nuke it because you know how my Facebook had got hacked. <laughs> yeah, so I'll start over. I don't care. Yo, uh, Juan and I, bro, we even did an after party, man. I was just out of my element. Where? Hey, in uh, Harlingen. In the valley? Yeah, in Harlingen. Yeah. Didn't we learn our yeah. lesson from the first after party? At the, towards the end. Oh, you were there for that one. <laughs> oh, you were there. Yeah, you were there. You yeah, midnight you yeah. at uh, at next to Cine Rey. Uh huh. Yeah, but nobody was did really did anything. No, it was no. Just like the vibe. The vibe was. Yeah, that. yeah. But I, I felt like I was. I don't know if you noticed, but I feel like I was having to tell you, Rob. Like, hey, man. No, you totally did because I was just kind of lost you in the really moment. Paying attention no, to not me. until you pointed out. I was like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> And I mean, midnight knows because the same dude walked around like right, right by the rope like five different times. Like, I try to see what's up. What doing? Like, why does he keep walking? And I'm like, Rob, like, are you not by? seeing? I was like, not seeing it. Kind of like look over. Rob, and, and, let me ask you this: Do you feel like you were maybe like green when it came to that type of scenario, or you just hung out in different type of bars? Like, uh, like it was nah. a live band and everybody's chilling. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I only went to country bars, and there's never really fights and shit. Not those? like that. No, I don't think so. No, you weren't going to get fucking like, uh, no, no one was going to pop off. If that happened, that was going to happen in the parking lot. It wasn't going to happen in the bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? Interesting. I don't know. That's just me. Mm-hmm. Sorry I didn't go to all the fucking all the hood shit. Hood <laughs> shit. Hey, earlier when you were talking about Karate Kid, I was like, I bet you Rob ain't seen it, bro. I was like, I'm going to let him make it, bro. I'm not. I so you you haven't Karate seen, no. never seen Karate oh, Kid? Damn, I told you. <laughs> what? I called it. No damn, way. Dude. God, he had to bring it back around, didn't he? There's him. no way. On, I always bro. send him like no, vintage you've, shit. Like, you've seen parts of it. Is that vintage, though? Don't, it's, it's, it's on uh, TV. The wax on, wax off scene is the only scene I know. It's on TV right now. I'm sure it is. Like, yeah, like, it's always, it's on, always on replay, right? Yeah. TV right now. You haven't even seen the Jackie Chan one? The Jackie Chan one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jason Smith. Smith. Yeah, yeah. Well, that it, one I don't think I will. It, it's, oh, no. it's not canon. It's not canon. It's not canon. It's not canon. But it was, I mean, it was still a karate kid. Yeah. You didn't even see that one? No. I sure as fuck wouldn't see that one. Oh, damn. The original is dope. Man. I'd go back for the original. Remember, like, they had the Halloween costume suits? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that. Mm-hmm. The skeletons. There's, like, that scene where it's, like, probably the third act. Mm. When the shit's finished, really. Only the reason I knew what Javi was talking about because somebody did a breakdown on YouTube. Isn't there a scene where they're like on the sand, right? They're at the beach mm-hmm. and there's yeah. like, yeah. So they were breaking down the whole beef and they were saying the same thing you were saying about how he was a little yeah. bitch. Thing, that's what I was saying. I had that. I had that as a bit in my set 
And then that YouTube video went fucking viral. And oh, I couldn't do the bit anymore. Oh, that's ah. funny. Because it was it, everything he was saying, I was doing on stage at that time. It's not like, like oh, he stole it from me, but it was just p- parallel thought. Right. You know? People right now in a car punching air. But if I do it now, <laughs> but if I, but I had to stop doing the joke because then people are going to be like, oh, you're just doing what the YouTube video said. Yeah. Chingo will send me stuff all from the 80s and 90s all the time. And I'm like, I remember some it's of it, like but not. Commercial, like, a, like a Pizza killed, Hut commercial. Completely killed my bit. But... What helped is I got a fucking dope ass web series out of it, so I'm okay that I lost a bit in order for their, you know, I got some more Karate Kid content because those. <laughs> That's those stung. Cobra like, Kai, I was very happy with that Cobra Kai uh, series. I'm sad that it ended already. The 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 lead the lead Hispanic kid, he's the lead in the in DC, Blue Beetle. Yeah, Blue Beetle. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Did you already That's tell awesome. him about that? Oh, Did that I was I was supposed to audition. I don't know if you knew that. <clears> I was supposed to audition. Um, an associate from LA that'll get me auditions from time to time, but it's very rare. He probably got tired of me being like, bro, have you seen my Twitter? You really think they're going to allow me to be in this fucking Hollywood movie? You know, because I'll be on there talking big shit. He's like, well, some of the people from the casting, like they know you, they know who you are. And I was like, did they specifically say that I had a fucking shot? And then I started asking more questions. I think this was, I know Mighty Soul was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if it was like right after the pandemic, but I was still probably a little fucking frazzled of like, no, I need to operate outside of the fucking mm-hmm. system. But uh, I was like, all right, where are y'all shooting? How long? They're like several months in Puerto Rico and Atlanta. I, I do remember And I'm this. like, so I got to cancel my entire tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got to uproot my entire family. I was like, and it's a minor role. Like mm-hmm. it's supporting, I guess. I was like, what is my pay kind of going to look like for me to do mm-hmm. all this? Yeah. And there's still a huge chance that they're just going to give it to George Lopez anyway. And they gave it to Kumail instead. To who? Kumail Nanjiani. Who's that? I don't know. Some guy that did a Marvel movie. The comedian. No, George is on it. I don't even know what movie you're talking about. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I just thought of another brown Blue guy. Beetle. It was the uncle. It was the oh, uncle. oh, the George Lopez. So George Lopez got it. Oh, George okay. Lopez got it. DC Blue. He has no, a mullet and everything. No shit. And he has a mullet. So, but he has a goatee, like stupid goatee though. Yeah, too. so my fans started at uh, tagging me mm-hmm. saying like I guess because of the mullet they thought of me and were mm-hmm. like oh this motherfucker y'all should have Chingo do it ah. but I'm like I actually tried out for it. I mean I was gonna try out for it yeah. that's crazy yeah. wow. didn't even try mm-hmm. you never know what could happen didn't even try because mm-hmm. Chingo, Chingo was like no because I wanted to be, Chingo wanted to be the blue beetle man yeah nah they <laughs> gave it to the kid from Cobra Kai so yeah that was probably cool it's cool yeah. it, the trailer looked amazing for uh, the blue beetle Movie. Like, I'm a, I don't get get excited about DC films very often, but it, this one looks really good. So, okay. would you Where's agree? Huh? Do you have y'all seen it? The trailer? Uh, yeah, I seen like one mm-hmm. or two. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. It looks alright. Nothing impresses Juan. You think uh, you think at least I, I haven't seen things. Juan good. sees it and nothing impresses like, him. Did you like any of the Marvel movies? Love them all, yeah. Okay. That's the only thing he watched. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fast, Fast and, and Furious, Furious and Marvel. No, but the only give, reason give it, it doesn't impress me is because I remember like like where they came from. So when I look at the previews, I'm like, ah, uh, that's all right. Like I remember the the original stuff, so it's like, uh, all right, it's okay. I, I don't think that they they always fuck it up. As but he watched John Wick Four. He's like, man. Eh, when it's always a live action, it's always less than what the actual thing's gonna be because well, they yeah. can't they can't they gotta condense it. So it's like, it like to me, it's like eh, right. the book's always better than the movie one. It's never gonna live up to that first <laughs> e- e- experience you have. But I'm saying, for, as far as like a blockbuster movie goes, like for to me, a lot of the DC films end up being a little boring. This one looks like like really fun. There's so much like, dialogue in DC bro, stuff. That's yeah. the that's the Bud Light talking. Don't listen. That's <laughs> the Bud Light talking, dog. It, it looks like a fun movie. <laughs> Go watch it in the IMAX with the 4D and the Rumble with the Bud Light. And, with the Bud Light. Saying, <laughs> saying, no, no, she like. Is your mom's name Martha? My name's my mom's name's name Martha, Martha too. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I watching? So Why did I pay fifteen dollars to come? <laughs> what was that from? Shit? It was from Superman versus yeah. Batman. <laughs> Batman's about to kill Superman, and he's like, he's like, save Martha. He's like, Martha? That's my mom's name. No way, dude. You know, it's like they <laughs> like fucking that, just throw like the that thing. was their resolve. It's like, okay, you know what? <laughs> We're fucking friends, bro. Their moms like, had the same. Name. It's like it's That's like so uh, the stepbrother is like, did we just become Best friends, yeah, I think we did. <laughs> What's your favorite dinosaur? It's like they, it's like they needed a placeholder out in the script. Like when they're writing it, they're like, "Oh, we'll come back to that." Like, like why did they stop fighting? Uh, uh, just put a placeholder. I they forgot to come back to and it. They just forgot. And they're like, "Oh, fuck it, let's just run with that." Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, their mom's both cool, named Martha. Like, did you watch Mario? 
Yeah. What'd you think of it? it was, I liked it. It was very. It was. It was you know, Juan fun. said, "Meh." What's that? Meh. You know, so Juan said, "Meh." Well, I missed half the damn movie, he dude. I've turned it. into the. I've turned into the dad that falls asleep with the son at the movies and oh, embarrasses man. him, dude. <laughs> the dad I was on, watching the dad on C4s. Yeah. Well, well, that's Somehow the thing. I had to slept for 24 hours, and I had to drive over there to go take my son to Saturday school. See, man. I got it's there, hard. took him to the took him to the movie right after school, like the Saturday school, because it was like prepping for the star test. We get there, mm-hmm. and we start watching. I'm like, man, this is pretty good. And I, I, yeah, right before they get yeah, to the hours. Donkey Kong, right before they get to the Donkey Kong Island or whatever, yeah, I black out. And then my son, I just feel my Donkey son just Kong poking me. Cool. That was he, one of the best scenes. He's just poking oh, yeah. me. He's just like, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, what, what, what's going yeah. on? Oh, my, I fell asleep. He's like, yeah. And he's like watching. I'm just like, what, was I snoring? Oh yeah, and he just like started watching the movie again. I was like, "Oh shit, my bad, bro!" And like, and then I was towards the end already. Yeah, it, was it was just like the Jack, final Jack part. Jack Black was hilarious. Yeah, Jack Black was great. Usual. I like what they did with Donkey Kong. It, it was just, and it was just a, it was it's a fun. fun movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all the little Easter eggs were were cool. You know, the Punch Out Cafe yep. and all that. <laughs> And so, you know. I just thought of something, man. The I best part see. is that Linguizamo wasn't in it. Oh, man. <laughs> he was crying and complaining about that. Hey, but I got Hold on real quick. I got to tell you. Something just came to mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know how Juan sometimes is a kiss of death? Like right before you about to go on stage, uh-huh. and he'll be like, hey, by the way, uh, here goes some bad news. <laughs> Or so he goes something scary for you to think about. Okay, oh. well, hold up. Just to give you all context, I'm working on some material that has to do with death. Mm-hmm. So then I start talking about it, and then I just think nonchalant about it, not thinking that freaking Javi is like all up on, like Javi's been smoking a little bit, you know, and Javi's on that shit. Well, well there we were in uh, Alamo, Texas, and I was about to go up, and Juan's like, yeah, this is going to be one of those, man. Uh, they're playing the fight behind y'all. And, uh, like, just hit me with a bunch of cement, like, <laughs> like, just kind of get in my head. So I'm like, okay, well, should I address the fight? Uh, I mean, I guess obviously I should. If it's going on behind me, like, 50 feet fucking 75 feet wide screen of boxing and then me in front of it talking <laughs> and the sun's still out and the little lights in the back... But I, I asked yeah. to go first. There's I wanted to go There's first. a train going by in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but, uh, but poor Juan, he had to be the one to be the bearer of bad news. Like, oh, by the way, this is going to be one of them curveball shows where, uh, yeah, yeah. Knock well, it out, man. Because hey, Raymond man, and Mario, show, they, 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 break look, like, Raymond and Mario, they, they're like, they, they thrive, they, they thrive on those shows. And, and sometimes those shows are just chaos. And then, so like, I already know. And me and, me and, me and Raymond were laughing about it over to the side because me and Israel always talk about that. Like, they throw on these crazy nightmare shows, bro. Like, you never know what the fuck's going to happen. Hey, so I turn into the guy that's like, so is anybody keeping track of my time? Like, <laughs> yeah. no one can that's tell me how That's the verbal tap here. out, bro, when like, somebody's like, hey, So no one can tell me. Who's in charge? <laughs> so You're no annoyed. Tell, hey, annoyed. Nobody, nobody. So y'all not going to like me. Y'all are guessing. Look, They're to, guessing, to ladies ching, and gentlemen. To Chingo's, to Chingo's credit. What is that, 10? 10? I've been up here 10 or I got 10 more? <laughs> the Chingo's credit, uh, I was like, I, I actually asked Mario, I was like, hey, bro, so like, because we couldn't hear Chingo, we were all over in the back, and I was like, hey, uh, so how much more time does he have? And then Mario and Mar- Mario looks at Raymond, and he's like, uh, I mean, he would have been like at 7.30, uh, you know, he's uh, he, yeah, I think, um, well, probably like 10 more minutes, dude, like 15, just give him another 15, it's all good. So then he kind of walk out there like, dying. and he's like, people still showing up. <laughs> and then Raven comes back and he's like, oh, he just asked for the time. He just asked for the time. <laughs> and then Mario goes out there and lights him. But I was only trying to tell Chingo ahead of time because like, I didn't even know the show was starting because I was inside away from everybody, like just trying to work on videos. So when I came out, I was like, oh, there's somebody on stage already. It's still daytime. And then I see the fight, and I was like, no, they're not doing the fight behind them. I'm up there like, they ain't going to press pause for your boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're waiting for the later. Dude, uh, so I, I, I see Raymond, and huh? Raymond doesn't even know that the fight's going on behind them. Like, Raymond's over to the side, and I was like, hey, bro, <clears throat> do you see this? Come here. He's like, what? Oh, they got the fight. Like, this was Raymond. Raymond was like, they got the fight behind them. Oh, damn. This is going to be crazy. So then I was like, does Chingo know? <laughs> going to be crazy. Does that Chingo like, know? Chingo's up first. So I ran over to Chingo to go tell him because I, I don't want Chingo to get up there and to be like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? So give him a little heads up and instead I'm over here. That might have been funnier though. Just to see how he deals well, with you it. You know, you just don't want to do that because then he gets up there and he's like, oh my God, you know, you might lose so, your placement. So yeah, stuff. I basically went into like uh, open mic mode for me which is like i don't settle i'm not just mm-hmm. like confidently going into it i'm just kind of like 
you know, oh, wait, who, first of all, fuck me voice over in this <laughs> fight. I want to voice over this conversation happening right here. Mm-hmm. They're literally having a whole combo. I'm like, whose shoes are these? Who else start like riffing about that? I'm like, let me see who the fuck is back here coughing and giggling. Of course, they're 14 year olds because no adult would have the common sense. They were just kids at the show? They were like helping. They were like the kids of somebody who was working on maybe in charge of speakers or something. So this is the, the LED screen. And you just see two pairs of shoes and like coughing and giggling and horseplay. <laughs> yeah. Like, no mommy's way. No way. And people are still being seated coming in. It was it, like he had he he had like one of the bad spots. Like where it's like people are still coming in. Hey, but I, I asked for that first slot, yeah. though. Yeah. And the night before I went middle. Mm-hmm. And, all, and yeah. of course, I'm the one that got the heckler. Could I have dealt with it slightly different? Maybe. <laughs> but he called me the P word and the B word. So you say for, so when you hosted? No, I didn't nah, he, the, dude, he didn't even do it. a guest. So you went up cold? No, yeah. no, they oh, had a, a female hostess just kind of like, hey, guy, oh. like from the radio station. Oh. And, okay. and then she brought up like, they were like, hey, we're going to have some local comic guy that won some contest somewhere. And it was like daytime, family event type of thing. He's like, yeah, then my mom's like, hey, stop being a little bitch, cabrón pendejo. <laughs> Something, something, something. Te la estás jalando, way. It's, Anyways. It's straight up daytime, by the way. <laughs> like, there's kids right And I'm just like, <laughs> what the oh, fuck am I doing? Oh, and I saw Sean, Sean Miller from Corpus. He was at the uh, Brownsville show. He's at the Brownsville show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was at the Brownsville show. Cool. Yeah. So, so at least, I mean, you didn't have to go up cold. I mean, no, I, I, I went second. I went after Raymond the, okay. the night that I thought I was going to have to kick somebody upside the head. Mm. And then he got removed and I was done. Then Mario came up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I seriously like I Rob, you got a cosign, bro. Like, <laughs> do you ever just be thinking like, okay, I, I don't know. Last time you got into fucking altercation like this type of shit, mm-hmm. but or maybe you use more imagination of like, all right, if you just scanning the room now that you're getting back in it, like, do you be like, okay, this guy, he's got a jacket on, this guy's got a, a fanny pack, you could just fucking choke him with that shit. First thing you can grab, yeah. Swivel, yeah, right, head on a swivel. First thing you can grab, drag him down, and then just run away. <laughs> You know yeah. like, but like, my question yeah. to you though is is like okay because you have you're more confident a little bit more with the training would you escalate the situation do you feel like you're escalating the situation more or do you think you would have tried to more de-escalate no i think before? um uh, it's kind of hard to because now to you're destroy. thinking like oh dude i'm gonna fucking face like, kick I'm, this I'm guy and if i need to go down you. and do this like, yeah. i don't want to embarrass you for all these people then you're gonna want to go get a gun because you're probably gonna get hurt mm-hmm. So to answer your question, sir, as a combat sports five-star athlete, <laughs> uh, as a white belt with two stripes, mm-hmm. it's one of those where it's like, um, in that scenario, he was like down beneath me. I had like all the fucking advantage, bro. So in that scenario, it's like you're more confident to not fucking just try to like bitch out. But it's like, I'm giving you a chance to de-escalate, bro. But like, I'm not going to fucking, like, you're not going to just bully me in front of all these people, bro. Like. <laughs> You know, like I'm trying to and deal with you with my skill set, my set of tools, but you're you're not working with me. Nobody else on the staff is helping me. Nobody's working with me. Oh, Nobody's giving worst. him a warning. Mm-hmm. So it's it's literally like, bro, yeah. and I'm trying to go into jokes now. And let's go into my toast. All right, this is a perfect time. Everybody right now, you got to drink nine, five, six. So like, are y'all still here to pay? Y'all pay? Now he's standing up. Now he's taking selfies. Now he's, mm-hmm. now he's, bitch, P word. P word, B word, what you going P word, what you going to do? And then his bitch ain't helping me. So now I'm just like, where the fuck is Juan at? The Hulk smash. So you have no idea why he came at you this way? Like, well, he was a... Uh, I just, I was in the middle uh, of my set starting off. His and chick on the way out said that he was just super drunk. He's like, he was drunk just like, he's like this. Like yeah, he had to be carried out pretty yeah. much. He was, he was like leaning on her on the way out. <laughs> so, that's the thing. Like I'm right in there. the middle of like a little rap segment. It's like <laughs> I'm like, all right, you didn't like that one, bro? Okay, huh? Like wrap it up, like you move, move. no, like I was rapping some shit, oh. like in the beginning. Uh-huh. And then, uh, like then I'm talking about song, something else, and then I might try to roast him a little bit, and then I'm trying to do something else. Uh, all, now suck. he's standing up, wanting selfies. Like, like this is the base of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and and then and then after that it went to p word b word mm-hmm. so you know what i'm saying hey i was wearing a jujitsu you t-shirt. Take the selfie no i don't know what, really what the uh, reason was but like he was he was on something and i had a hoodie on with, with uh the loteria shirt with the jujitsu guy on it yeah 
I was gonna take the hoodie. I will show him the jujitsu loteria shirt, bro, just mm-hmm. to let him know, man. It's Emmy. It ain't on me, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I almost had to turn the baby Glock. But anyway, Juan's here. I want him to co-sign it. We had it was a fun weekend, man. I, dude, I was so exhausted. I, I had to. It was it was like 5 a.m. flights. 5 a.m. flights. Get to Sacramento. Drive to San Jose. 5 a.m. flight. Hurry up. Come to land in Harlingen. He's picking me up, and we're like trying to get coffee and shit. Hurry up, get ready. It's time to go to the show. He's like, matter of fact, drop me off so I can work the door. That was a whole other debacle. <laughs> While I hurry up, go to the room where what? my wife booked it far as shit. I don't know where anything is, okay? This is what came up. Well, that's the whole yeah. thing with Brownsville. Like, like when they went up and the, the guy was all like drunk and stuff, it, we already started off with, with the crowd a little upset because of some stuff with like the door, they're, ticketing. They're, they're ticketing but like hiccups. yeah some little hiccups that i was having the fucking be customer service on and dude it, they were already upset that's all i'm gonna say they were already upset and then so by the time people were already getting on stage it was like they were just drinking already dude because they were just trying to take off the edge because they were already mm-hmm. pissed well, that's typ- I, i'm familiar with, with that venue it's typically a rowdy venue already to start with the venue uh, no but i've actually done i've uh, been there for other shows before mm-hmm. and it wasn't bad before yeah. i was just like this time dude i'm telling you like <laughs> i have people get mad at me like whoa well, okay. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna talk to you like that since high school dog damn that's aggressive <laughs> yeah so uh it was a good uh private lesson it was like you got a couple of higher belts Man. You know, but I put myself to the ringer, man. It wasn't one of those like I'm gonna go on last comfortably and take my time and get into my stories. It's like I'm fighting for my shit. Jeez. I'm fucking on my back. And guess what, man? You 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 comfortable in uncomfortable positions with a jujitsu? Yeah, that's you why start, it's one of the most powerful. You start wearing your, you start wearing your belt now, change, man. <laughs> go on stage with the belt. On, go on stage with the belt, dog. With the two with stripes. The Make sure yeah, the stripes show. Funny. Eat, eat up. Dude, go with the belt, dude. We're gonna gear up real quick. I'm in the green room. Like, what was that? Was it Dragonfly Jones? Is that uh, Martin's character? Yeah. Oh yeah. What, Rob? You know that one? I do. Oh, yeah. That one, you know? I knew that Rob one. Know that one. I love Martin. Martin was yeah, great. I was with Willie Barcena this weekend, and then no one again, no fights. Like now, Ching, now Ching got I'm, all, Hey, I'm the new Ching Willie. Got, got all the fights. I'm the new Willie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do a whole U turn. Oh, I pull up no, on you. No, I'm lying. I am lying. Uh, I was gonna say Corpus. I, I, I thought for a second, but it wasn't. It really wasn't Willie's fault. Oh, okay. Like, like it was. It was the dude. We we uh, uh Willie Barshana was in Corpus this weekend. He invited me out to do a guest spot, and and when you work with Willie, he likes to go out afterwards. He likes to talk, loves to talk shop. I love to talk shop. So we went out afterwards for some drinks, whatever. And and there's some comics there. The vibes are good. Everyone's having a good time with your talking shop. And he's like, man, I, I got the suite. Like, we got got some beers. Let's let's go back to the hotel. So we go, you know, we go back to the hotel. You know, a whole group of us, and we're walking in, and there's there's these boxing guys, like a youth boxing dude, sitting on the couch. And, and Willie sees his shirt, and he says something like, "Hey, man, yeah, uh, my my son used to box too." And, and and he kept walking by, and the guy's like, "What was that?" I was like, he goes, oh no, he goes. I'm just saying, like, I'm like, I'm, I'm from, I'm from, from California, man. My son used to box out there. It's in California boxing, you know. He goes, okay, and and what? He's like, he goes, nothing. I was just saying, like, I saw your shirt. Like, he goes, oh, well, I just rented out the American Bank Center down here for one hundred twenty-two thousand dollars. We broke the record for the most attendance. And so, so like what? Wait, who said that? The guy, the, the guy, guy that was boxing, sitting on the couch. The Willie guy. was just saying like, <laughs> that he nice had the shirt. Yeah, attendance. he like like look me up, look me up. I fought, I fought, I fought, uh, I fought Oscar De La Hoya. It was like, all right, dude. Like he literally, he was just so saying, he's like old school. So, we, so like, now we're in the lobby, guy? like trying to like yeah, talk this like veterano dude down. Like that now runs this youth. Group. Like it's like okay. Hey man, we believe you. Like what you're saying, like, because <laughs> Willie tried to like de-escalate. And, like, oh man, I was just saying, like, my name's Willie. I'm, I'm from. I'm a comedian. Yeah. I was in town doing some shows, and like, just like, like, That's oh, one well, big shit too. You know, fucking hundred twenty thousand dollars running out the bank center for three days. It's like, oh, okay. Exactly. My, my, my grandson here could kick all y'all's asses. Like, I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, I'm just a comedian. <laughs> like, I'm just like, no, I'll just do the guest spot. I was just like, that's very. No, I sat down right behind. I was like, that's very interesting, sir. So I was like, so what's your name? Do you, are you on Instagram? <laughs> what's your <laughs> Instagram? Your boy, you, you got. You just got a new follower out of me. <laughs> like, hey, can I get a f- photo, sir? Like, hey, 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 Javier. I mean, not to not to poke holes in your story. I mean, I'm I'm no confrontation uh-huh. expert, but that sounded like it was Willie's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like it was Willie's fault a little bit. He was like, hey, man, oh, no. that's not true. Nice what's up? Hey, my son bought it. Like, he was trying to, like... <laughs> I'm not trying to poke holes in your like, story. Like, not to like, poke like, holes in your story. It's yeah. not like he, no, 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 no. he started it by no, accident. No, because I know dudes from, from, from where we, we were in my hometown. And it's dudes like that, like, just like, if you say anything to them and they didn't hear exactly what they... What they, what you said? You got some. Shit they're just going gonna on. assume that you were talking shit. Yeah. Like you could literally just say, "Hey, nice shirt." Wait, hey, what'd you say? This shirt right here. Oh, why are you Talk commenting on my shirt? shirt? Talking about this shirt. You got something to say about my shirt? Can't like, even you know, be like, nice like, to people. Like, say it to my face. Like Not, what? Nice bro? shirt. Like, can't even be nice to people. Yeah, can't even be nice to nah, people, man. man. <laughs> you know, those 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 egos, like, man. Can't even ask a comedian I'll, for I'll, a selfie. <laughs> exactly that shit that, that frat during his set out there, yeah. it's like hey bro you don't know what I, what else I got going on bro I'm finna take out a whole bunch of frustrations out on you sir yeah that's basically how I got how I got and you would've been viral if you would've done that bro that's Come true on, bro. Would've been Cal, he would've been Cat bro. Williams <laughs> yeah, oh, that'd have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> Happened for Polly Shore too. Yeah, Chingo yep. Bling got, gets choked out at got, show. That was out in Odessa, right? <laughs> was it? I think it was in Odessa. He got punched. He got punched on stage. Yeah, Who? yeah it was about Polly, that was years. Polly Shore. Polly Shore. Shore. Oh yeah, that, yeah, he played that recently, <laughs> right? Yeah, Maybe he, he played, played it, brings it back out every now and then. I think he brought it up because uh, because uh, uh, who got attacked on stage? Uh, Chris Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, Chappelle or Chris yeah. Rock got attacked on stage. Like, when that happened, Paul yeah. Shore put it. Yeah, this happened to me a long time ago. Like, <laughs> okay, way to make it about you, bro. I mean, you. you I mean, you, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right there. Clap. Some, some people are good at that, man. You know. I'm saying baby Glock, bro. That's all I got to say. Baby Glock, you gotta go pick up a baby soon. Is it time, baby Glock? It is that time. Uh, almost. Oh, yeah, about get that parent yeah, pickup line. Yeah, four, yeah, do. four minutes. No, As we wrap stay, up, man. Stay, stay inside the cones, please. So, so, <laughs> so basically, I gotta, I gotta shed those two bombs off my record. So I'm, I'm trying to pull up at Javi Show, May 5th, Gordito de Mayo in San Antonio, up, uptown. What's it called? Upstage, 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 upstage comedy, comedy club. upstage comedy, comedy club, lounge. comedy lounge, upstage comedy lounge in the 210, May 5th, Gordito de Mayo. I'll be in College Station May 6th, but I'm trying to pull up with Javi. Um, and of course, man, Juan Perez is killing it. Uh, man, helped me so much directing, editing, behind the scenes. Uh, doesn't get enough credit, man, because these clips, he's like, hey, bro, you just hit another million on this one. This one's at 100,000. This one just went up. Like, sitting there wrestling with customer service to Facebook. <laughs> uh, like, got Mark Zuckerberg on speed dial. Like, going back and forth, trying to figure out this algorithm, man. And we have some surprises coming for y'all, man. We got a, I'm going to release, I'm going to tell y'all right now, we got a song as Big Cinnamon. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting out a rap as Canelo, mm. a.k.a. Big Cinnamon. The mm. name of the track is Big Cinnamon Energy. I just got the beat back. I forwarded all the files, all my vocals and the beat. Shout out to DJ Quality out of Chicago. He did, the beat. he did two versions of the beat because the beat's going to switch up. I'm giving away too much information. And we're going to have video. But we finna have some video, mm. man. I'm going to be hitting the bag. You know, saca la colchita, he's out for the night. Go Mimi's. If you don't believe me, so y'all stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard it? No, you haven't heard it. Oh, you haven't heard, it. You haven't heard of it. I haven't heard it. Don't talk about my mom. Oh, bro. Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, y'all been seeing a lot of Canelo stuff because we're just waiting. It's just we're like... Just priming the pump. Priming it, priming it, and then boom, we're going to hit it. Uh, Houston, House of Blues, June 16th. Uh, Javi Luna and Bryson Brown in the building. And a very special guest. Y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Shout out producer Rob, Juan Perez, Javi Luna. Follow us. Shout out to all our sponsors, Tehuacan Mineral Water, Pie Tequila, Mary's Creek Cattle Company. Get you some of that good beef. Hit that button. Tell a friend. Das.